This video will demonstrate how to mount your wheel to the shaftless Ultimax motor. The Ultimax motor installation manual is located on Regal Beloit's website in a literature section. Additional dimensional drawings are also located with the motor models in the product section. Before installing, using, or servicing this product, carefully read and fully understand the instructions, including all warnings, cautions, and safety notice statements. To reduce risk of personal injury, death, and or property damage, follow all instructions for proper motor installation, operation, and maintenance. Before we begin, be sure to put on the prescribed personal protective equipment. First, we will discuss the mounting of the Ultimax product into your assembly. For mounting purposes, we have provided four T-slots into which you can slide a quarter 20 T-slot hardware. Eight fasteners should be used to secure the product in place into your assembly. Be sure that your fasteners do not bottom out in the T-slot as that can compromise your installation. Keep in mind that the lifting lugs will need to be removed from the product just prior to your installation into your assembly. Do not remove them at any time prior to installation and be sure not to use them for lifting anything but the motor by itself. Many assemblies have been designed around this product and from experience, we can suggest that sheet metal assemblies with fixed mounting arms are inherently difficult to properly tolerate, which can lead to assemblies that can be difficult to slide the product into place with the T-slot hardware. For that reason, it may prove easier to first mount the assembly arms to the T-slot and then mount the motor and arm assembly into the frame. Now that you've considered the elements required to mount the motor into your assembly, we will discuss the elements necessary to permit mounting the fan to the motor. There are six mounting holes to affix the blower to the motor Plan to use coarse threaded 3 8 inch fasteners with at least half an inch of thread engagement, but not more than 3 quarter inch, as that is the guaranteed thread depth. To ensure concentricity and ease installation, there is a rabbit on the face of the motor. The blower back plate should be designed to fit right up against the rabbit, but be sure that your fan does not cover up the eight holes near the center of the rotor face. These holes allow cooling to take place inside the motor. The Ultimax motor was designed to be balanced as an assembly once installed into the frame with the fan attached. The fundamental relationship between the motor and the fan prevent effective balancing as individual components. We recommend planning for post-assembly balancing in your application. Finally, as the product is an air over motor, plan to allow open space around the product within your assembly to permit the natural flow of application air to keep things cool. As always, if you aren't sure how to best apply this product, feel free to contact us and we'd be happy to show you how to take the most advantage of this industry-changing technology.